Hey guys, it's Seth. Uh, so, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of this game. So, um, I'm going to give tips along the way. I'm going to beat every single gym. I, as you can see, I've already beaten Barack. I mean, that's just a 10 minute thing. But here's my party at the moment. This is from my main account. Wait a second. Oh, uh, my, one of my Pokemon are in the PC. Alright. Um, so, what I plan to do is like you know I just explained it but yeah I'm just gonna do a complete walkthrough teach you some tips um, but right here you can actually skip this chain if you're really careful see alright so this guy you have to climb his arm to skip him and it's pretty hard to do that but I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of this because this is gonna take forever but Oh, forgot that, uh, that's not, just burns them. Alright, first trainer. I plan not to level up at any of my level 80 Pokemon, that'll come in the future. I was going to check if I had any more level 80s on my... On Seth, but I couldn't. F I couldn't get to my PC because I couldn't find the thumbstick on mobile. Because that's how I gave all these Pokemon to myself. Um, but I'm about to go through Mount Moon, get to Misty, and then I'll tell you what kind of Pokemon you should be using for Misty. So you can. This is mainly focused on the Aetherium, but you can open up like a Pokemon weakness chart like I have right here, but you're not able to see this because I'm using Fraps. But, um, so for water types you want to use Electric or Grass. So those are the two weaknesses. So, you know, Bulbasaur would be good for Misty if you had one. Or a Pikachu, something like that. Pretty sure my Dialga knows Thunderbolt, so that'll be good. I mean, I'm there's no point in using it because all my Pokemon are high enough level that it'll, it'll one-hit it anyway so and the reason I haven't beat the elite four yet is because all these Pokemon aren't level 100 I mean if they were all level 100 I probably would already be done with it but my I'm hoping I can beat the eighth gym only using the Dialga and Garatina because I, I can't really use any other Pokemon. Because if you didn't know this, the 8th gym, if you're using Pokemon above level 80, or it might be like 81, something like that, but um, if you're using Pokemon above level 80, he'll actually copy your party. And I'm sure some of you have had your party copied, but that's how I beat it on Seth. I used a ton of crappy Pokemon that were level 80 so and these aren't very crappy Pokemon so I, I bet they'll do pretty good the only thing is the Mewtwo at the end has recover and I'm not sure if I can take out the rest of them before that I might need to buy a couple of recovers or stuff so we've made it over to Misty's gym and I'm just gonna use Dialga as a statement just to show you that it's super effective because that's I, I'm pretty sure it has Thunderbolt if you spam Q, by the way, the chat goes faster. If you uh, didn't know, see, super effective. But you could use grass. So that's the second gym down. Now the eighth gym is going to be kind of a challenge because I'm I can only use two Pokemon. So that's actually the the main focus of this video. So. I'll probably cut out in between gym battles, but yeah. Now in the 8th gym, I know there's one guy that you have to fight, so there's one trainer, so I might need to go back and heal, and I just got huge lag spikes. They're still coming, but I don't know why I'm getting these lag spikes. I'm hoping I can beat it with just those two Pokemon. I might need to go back on Seth and this is route 6 so I'm pretty sure you can dodge all the trainers here ooh oh yeah that's right you gotta go back this way 
you gotta walk through the grass and then you can go like that there um, I know how to like dodge any trainer in this game but all right so I'm gonna about I'm about to be what's his name lieutenant Sarge I think Serge Lieutenant Serge something like that And for him, I'm actually I always forget the electric type weakness. It's uh, ground, ground type. Dialga has a ground type move that should be good. It's only ground. That's their only weakness. So you want to use something with earthquake that would just destroy it. But yeah, you can get around this guy. And I'm not gonna read the dialogue because that'll take forever. And I'm planning to get this done in about an hour, and that'll be a lot of editing. But, or actually, it probably won't even take an hour, it'll probably take 30 minutes. And see, super effective. I pray that this doesn't get to level 81, or I might have to buy like one of those special candies in order to bring it back a level, which I might do with the um I might do with the um Latios cuz that'll help. I might, but I don't think I will because oh god. That one's kind of hard to get past after you beat him, but and when I beat this gym, I was really low health obviously because it was my first time beating it. I I accidentally got in a battle with this guy, and I lost, of course, because I only had like a sliver of health. And I actually spawned in Lavender Town, and I, I was so happy. I didn't even have to go on the docks. And that was the first time on Seth. I played this game back in 2014 on a different account, but that account got terminated. I'm not going to go into detail, though. But, yeah, I had a lot of good stuff. I mean, they I wouldn't say they're like Dialga, Palkia, Kiram, stuff like that, but because they weren't even around when I was playing. But uh, I had like Shiny Suicune, Shiny Entei, Shiny Reiku, ton of that stuff. Um, but yeah, now I gotta go on the docks, and I'm pretty sure you can dodge this first guy pretty easily. The second guy, it's almost impossible to dodge, and then the, the last guy, you can't really dodge either. But I'm pretty sure I've dodged that guy before. See, you just climb their arm. Yeah, that fail. So, let's just get this over quickly. Dialga's doing pretty well. I'm trying not to get it to level 81. Wish this wasn't taking so long. I don't like the docks. Machamp. Alright, so now we're about to be in Lavender Town. I'm going to skip the Pokemon Tower. Uh, and then I'm just going to go straight to Celadon, which I believe is Grass type. So, I don't know what I'm going to use against that. I'll have to check which Pokemon has um, Fire-type move. I know Giratina has Will-O-Wisp, that, but that's not really going to help because Will-O-Wisp only burns them, and, you know, burn just does a certain amount of damage. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Well, I, obviously, I could just use straight up whatever, but I'm just saying, you know, I want to make... I want to use a fire type. Ooh, I just realized I could use ice type. I could use poison, flying, or bug. So I'll probably use ice because I think I have an ice attack on Lugia, I think. I mean, I don't have to, of course, but I will.
this idea was suggested by a fan in my server. He joined and started freaking out. And I don't know why people freak out about me. I'm not really famous or anything. But he, he started freaking out and he just gave me this idea. So he just wanted to learn how to beat the 8th gym. And in my, uh, my popular video, I haven't even beaten the 8th gym yet. So... Alright, so that's the freaking worst trainer ever taken down. Actually, there's the one um, after Fuchsia is probably the worst because you can't even dodge him. Alright, so now we're on to Celadon. And you can find Zapdos right there if you ever wanted to learn that Route 10 right there. Alright. And one day I might make a video where I hunt Rayquaza. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, see, see my badge? Got it. Uh, you can dodge every single trainer here. Easy. Honestly, I find it irritating when I see people walk into every trainer, even though I know they're just trying to get good, and sorry that there's no one in this server. I'm actually going to close the leaderboard so that you can see more things, but I'm sorry that there's no one in the server because I just joined the empty one so I could get my, uh, my other account in too, and I'm going to be giving away this account after I beat all eight gyms, so if you want to like when it just type in the comments it's not going to keep all the pokemon because I, I actually need all those but it at least you'll have an account that beat the eighth gym so i'm just going to heal real quick even though it's pr definitely not necessary and i wonder if this is up yet i is this like the ba i think this is like the battle tower isn't it i remember this place it was like they would give you a free tm um they would give you a free TM if you won, and you had to beat like a tr trainer that had six Pokemon equal to the highest one you had, which is like almost exactly like the Battle Tower. So, uh, so you can just walk behind this guy, and let me just see if I have a Fire type. Oh yeah, I got Lugia, which has I think it's Lugia that has the move. Let me see. Yeah, Icy Wind. Lugia is probably one of my favorite Pokemon. I had a shiny one, but I gave it to a friend because they like Lugia a lot more than I do. That that sounded stupid, actually. I just said Lugia is probably my favorite Pokemon. But I really do like Lugia. I kind of like it more non-shiny than I do shiny. So, Because the shiny one's pink. But... Um, I'm going to save right now just in case I lose connection or something. I'm trying to get the Lugia Pokemon so that I can get a shiny one myself and maybe keep it for myself. I'm not sure what I'll do with it once I get it. Um, but it... It's easy because I have t another tip for you. Uh, if you ever just want to get a shiny Pokemon from like Ho-Oh, Regigigas, uh, Lugia, you can't really do it with Garatina O, but all you gotta do is just keep rejoining without saving. Just have all the Pokemon, just, and then just keep rejoining until you uh, get a shiny one. I did that with Regigigas. I ended up trading it to my friend for like a Dialga or something, or I think yeah, I think it was this Dialga that I have. But yeah, so that's Eureka Down, so here's the badge, the rainbow one, that's Celadon. Oh, this place, but you can dodge everything, never mind, it's just a really long walk, and I'm getting lag spikes again. I don't know if I'm actually going to cut this, I might just, because I don't feel like editing this much. That'll take forever, but yeah, you can just walk behind all these guys. 
back in 2014 when I started playing, it was like late 2014, like maybe November. I know it was around December, but um, my friend, Wingless Flight, I still remember him. His name was Charlie. He got me into the game because I followed him one day and then I said, Pokemon stupid or something like that. And then he said, come on, play this game with me. So then I started playing it and I really enjoyed it and got into it a lot. And he doesn't play anymore, so he quit. The last time he was on, I checked, was like April this year. So, but yeah, he met a lot of friends in, in this game, so. Alright, so we're on the Fuchsia, which is poison type. So let me just look at the weakness chart real quick. So that's... You can use ground, sidekick, so I got Luki already, easy peasy. And sorry about the way my character looks, I'm, I just didn't bother to change its look at all. And when I give this away, I'll probably have like a shiny Mew or something like that on there. Maybe a, a couple legendaries. Because, <coughs> you know, it wouldn't really be that good of a giveaway just to have a Gym 8 account. I might actually do like Jim 8 account giveaways every now and then. But all you gotta do to win the giveaway is just comment down below. Uh, you know, just comment something like, I want the account. And then put your reason, because I don't want anyone who's beaten the Elite Four or anything like that to win. Because that would be kind of annoying. But So, now we're on to... I don't know what his name is, but yeah. And I, I think I know the way directly through the maze. Yeah. He has a Gengar at the end, so Lugia should destroy that. And I'm not going to ever give away probably any of the Pokemon in my party right now. Yet. I might eventually do like a dial another Dialga giveaway or something like that. But I'm not sure. But if you're wondering who ended up winning, it was... Uh, I, think it, I think it might be the top comment still on the giveaway video. Basically, he was saying he, uh, he was going to give it to his brother. So I just beat Koga. That, that was his name. I think, yeah, this is the way. Um, yeah, he was saying that it makes his brother really happy whenever he gives him legendaries and stuff like that. And he ended up making my uh, channel art, actually, because he was so grateful. And then I ended up giving away, I think, a Deoxys and a, and a Ditto. I think those are the other two I gave away. So... Yeah, so the next one's Saffron, so that's, um, I don't know what the name is, but it's Psychic, so you would want to use, I think it's Ghost, it's super effective, Bug, Ghost, or Dark. So I'll end up using Darkrai, because Darkrai has Dark Pulse, I believe. So let's switch to him real quick. I love Darkrai. And right here you can actually make a lot of money. So you see this guy, he only gives like 500 or so. But two guys ahead give like 6,500 6, and the other guy gives like a couple. Not really much actually. But So here's the, here's the moves on my Darkrai. I think they're pretty good. I, I'm planning on like nasty plotting a lot during the Elite Four with him. And just, you know, one hitting the rest from there. And um, dream eating whenever I need to heal. Ooh, I accidentally nasty plotted. <laughs> but I'm wondering, there might be a way to actually nasty plot before you get into the Elite Four, which I might do. Like, have all my all my Pokemon healed except for Darkrai. Just have him fully nasty plotted because I, like, put him through with the, uh, like, the really low level guy. Oh, he actually gives 750, but... 
like a really low level on route one or something like that and then just nasty plot up maybe put them to sleep so that I don't take the minimal damage that I'm gonna get and you know after I get to saffron I'm probably gonna take a quick break but you probably won't even be able to tell because I'll just it'll just be two separate videos actually there's probably gonna be multiple videos in this I'm actually gonna do something so that it's not um, I'm not getting conf confused because there I recorded a test video before this but this guy he has hypno and Gengar I fought this guy many times just to get money he wants to battle dark I go dark balls super effective I think I started recording at 7 and it's 722 right now so this is gonna be a long video I probably will edit it out a lot maybe might just be an uncut commentary actually yeah that makes more sense considering I'm saying a ton of random things in between and I might forget about some stuff and I don't think I've caught any of the Pokemon in my party myself at all. So I just realized Magikarp used tackle on me. Jesus. Didn't know it could do that. Alright, so that was all the way to Saffron. So Oh, that guy gave us twelve hundred. That's not bad. So now let me let me look at my cash. Seventeen thousand. This is my whole party. The reason I don't have Garatino O is because I because I feel like being the odd one out, you know, uh, just not having a Garatino O because everyone else has Garatino O instead of Garatino. But so now I'm still only beating the Fuchsia Gym Leader, so I'm gonna go take a quick break and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's just heal up because. Got a little bit off my dark eye, and my moves are down. So again, this is a sidekick type. So she's flying, obviously sidekick, and and you can see that um, dark pulse is going to be super effective. See, oh, apparently not, Mister Mime. Dark type, yeah, that's super effective against Psychic. I don't know why that was that didn't say super effective. Super effective against him. Mr. Mime might not be. Oh, Mr. Mime might be like a dark type or something like that. I'm mm -hmm. super effective against Hypno. Lag spike. I always get lag spikes while I'm recording with Fraps, and I don't know why. So. Okay, Haunter. Yeah, that should still be super effective. Because Dark type moves are super effective against Ghost, too. Alright, now we're on to Cinnabar, I think, which is. Which means we're almost to the 8th gym. Cinnabar, obviously, Fire type. Uh, I'm just gonna check if there's anyone else that's in the server. So let's just heal up real quick. So I'm going to use Palkia. Where is it? Because it's a water type. Actually, I don't know if it has a water type move. I think it does. Yeah, Aqua Tail. But yeah, Jonathan the Beast is the original owner. This Caratina, my friend, X Desired Fate. Darkrai's original owner. Sky Dragon something. Uh, this uh, Latios Eve, Chris98. Uh, this. Dialga's original owner, again, Desired Fate. This Lugia's original owner, Behre64. Alright. Just gonna dodge all the trainers again. Um, this guy. Okay. So he's. he's He might not be new. Oh, I think that guy. I think I saw him earlier, actually. In a game.
Um, if I find any legendaries here, I'll be really surprised. If I find one in this video, I probably won't though, because I'm not walking through that much grass. And I just hate it when I've been searching in a place for like 30 minutes and then I see like the legendary thing, if you know what I'm talking about, thing where it looks like there's a legendary, or like you can tell, and then it's like a swarm Pokemon, like Lotad or something like that. Like I wouldn't be mad if it was like a Whalmer and it was shiny, but, because I'd still catch that. Cinnabar is a long walk. There's a guy over here. Let's see if we can dodge him. Really don't feel like getting in at another. <laughs> really don't feel like tra like fighting this many trainers. Really? That didn't one hit him? Dark Rise level 100. Now I gotta fight a prime ape. It didn't want to even <sighs> hate it when that happens. Like you're level 100, you're 40 levels higher than them, and it doesn't want to hit them. To dodge this guy, it's really simple. Just go all the way to the end of his. And if you want a free Skarmory, there's this girl right here. If you want one, like I'll show you. Well, actually, I think you need you need a uh, not. Not a full party, yeah. See, but she gives a full, she gives a free Skarmory. It's like level forty. Um, I wonder if there's another free Pokemon stuff, but I don't think there is. All right, so we're almost there. And I might even go on to try and beat the Elite Four on this account. So I might not give it away just yet. I need to decide if I'm going to beat the Elite Four on this account. Well, actually, I'll probably do that on, on a different account after I beat it on Seth. Because, you know, this one's going to be given away. And then I'll probably give away that account that beat the Elite Four. And that one, that'll be a pretty big giveaway. I think this guy's name is Blaine up here. Not sure though. But if you've never been here and you want to know how you find Rayquaza, it's actually at Cinnabar where you uh, see where you find them. So lag spikes. Um, so if you go in this house all the way in the end over here, there's this guy. Talk to him. I have a feeling that Seafoam Cave has rare Pokemon and. That rare Pokemon is um, Rayquaza. And maybe Groudon? I don't think so, though. I think I remember watching like a Jamie Jamie video, and he, he mentioned that it was like, Groudon, too. But then ISO's Pokedex, which is like this Google Docs that, that's his Pokedex. I'll probably link it in the description for you guys. Uh, it, it says that Groudon is found if you have Rayquaza in your party, just like uh, Kyogre. But yeah, again, here's my party. Actually, I need to swap Rayquaza. I don't have a Rayquaza. Keep clicking the wrong things. Palkia, right there. And this guy gives you Lugia. You gotta have, uh, let me actually. You gotta have uh, Snorlax, Vibrava, Chansey, Moltres, and uh, Magnetron, I think it's called. So, in your party, and then he'll give it to you. Here we go, about to beat him. Hopefully, again, I can beat the 8th gym with just Dialga and Giratina. Probably can, but I might need some restores, maybe a revive. So, this is the gym leader. I know I can beat this guy easily. Nine tails. No problem. I remember back when this was the last gym. 
man. And it took them, it took Wish forever to release the 8th gym, which I can see why, because the 8th gym is kind of a cool, that's probably the coolest one. Um, but I remember right when the 8th gym came out, I was right on top of it, and I was like one of the first 10 people to, to beat it. Oh. Miss. Okay. So that's Blaine. Beat the game. Well, I didn't beat the game yet. So, save right here, just in case. So now we're going to go back to Viridian, which is where the 8th gym is located. And I am going to remake my party. So, let's see what this guy has for Pokemon. Mm, not bad. But, so we're going to throw anything that's above level 80 in your PC, okay? This is what you got to do. This makes it 50 times easier to beat the 8th gym. Now, if I don't beat it this first time, I'm going to actually heal here so that I, if I faint, then I go back here. Um, if I fail, then I'm going to go and buy some revives, and not revives, but I pr just full restores. Alright, so this guy you have to fight right here. Well, you can dodge him, but it's pretty hard. I've only done it a couple times. Dragon Claw. This guy's over my level right now. So. But then again, this is a. Uh, this is a. Legendary Pokemon. And a really, like, big legendary one. Alright, so that's the end of them. I'll just go back and heal now. That's the only guy you really have to fight for this. I'll just teach you how to dodge the rest of them. Just heal up real quick. I'm I'm so sick of this slow running because I have the fast running pass on my main account. Wow, lag. But okay, so to dodge them all, don't go through that one. Go through this door right here. Walk all the way down. And you want to scope. Oh, you have to fight that guy. Forgot about him. You have to fight the guy with the flag on of your brava. You want to walk behind that because there's a guy right there that'll get you. And if you didn't know, there's a stranger guy back here. See this? And here's what these guys do. Once you beat the 8th gym, you can actually fight these guys. So, like, right now, you can't fight them. And that guy gives, like, 150,000 cash when you beat him. So... I don't know about the other ones, I didn't see my friend fight them, but they have like Pokemon that are over level 100, so it's really hard to beat them. And Vibrava should be able to Dragon Claw it, and it should be super effective, yeah. And just one hit Flygon too. I might not need to, uh, to to recover, but I'm just going to do it anyway. This is going to take a while. So this is me beating this whole game. Well, not technically, because... The Elite Four is still there, and I'm definitely not beating that. Uh, this is me beating this whole game 
in one sitting. But the Elite Four is not technically a gym, so. And I'm pretty sure it was like a tournament in the movie, or not in the movie, but the show. So. If I remember, it was like the Indigo League. So not Indigo League. Maybe it was called the Indigo League. I, I don't know. Actually, maybe not. I. My memory's not that good. But now we're actually gonna go and fight this guy. So I'm probably gonna need to look up what type of Pokemon each of these are. All right. So this is—he's definitely a ground type. So ground type. Ground types are weak against water, grass, and ice, and nothing else. So what you don't want to use, though, is rock or poison, because those are half effectiveness. And you don't want to use electric, because those don't even affect it. So I'm thinking Dragon Claw, because Dragon Claw, that's actually not doing very good. Golem's a tank, so... Oh, that did good. There we go. I'm just hoping Gar Garatina doesn't level up by the end of this. That'll be terrible. Uh, I'm pretty sure Doug Trio's ground type again. Earthquake. Why does that affect Garatina? Garatina definitely flies. Why? L let me look this up right now. Does Garatina fly? Okay, so this is talking about the games, but in the movies, Garatina jumps out of its portal thingy and just immediately flies. So I don't understand why it can't fly right now. Honestly. At least you took out two. Uh, or a sphere. Interpol. Good. Oh, that, that isn't very good. Uh, Needle King. I don't know what type of. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to come back with like heals or anything unless I hit one hit all three of his Pokemon, including that Mewtwo, which is probably like I don't even know what level. And this is a Needle. Yeah. So I'm gonna need to get some heals. Or something. Let me see how much money I have. Twenty thousand. Actually, I might. I'm gonna try and beat it with all of these, but just I'm, I recommend doing it with uh, with all level eighty and under. So it's just my recommendation. Whoa! I just dropped down to one frame. And I'm going to start out with Darkrai. Because Darkrai is probably my favorite Pokemon ever. Even though I didn't, earlier I said that Lugia is probably my favorite Pokemon. But I think Darkrai is definitely my favorite. So. I'm. That's actually a good idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an Elite Four tactic. And I'm just going to put him to sleep and just nasty plot away. Make my Darkrai full nasty plotted. And then just I can probably just one hit them all from there. Dark Void. It missed. Great. And Darkrai levitates. I don't... <sighs> nasty plot one more time. Okay. And then Dark Pulse. That one hits it. Alright. I'm going to try and regain some health real quick. Ah, great. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious right now? Dream Eater. Take some of its health. There we go. Needle King. Dark Pulse. There we go. No. Dark Pulse. There we go. See, Darkrai is a really overpowered Pokemon. Alright, and the Mewtwo, that's... 
psychic, so dark should just be really good. Yep, there we go. Yeah, but... Yeah, and then he copies your team. And you still have the same health, but I only used one Pokemon, so I should be good. So as long as I still have those nasty plots, great. How did my own Darkrai have more speed than me? So I'm going to use... Actually, that's a really bad idea because Lugia only has ice, an ice move and a psychic move, and psychic moves don't affect Darkrai. So Darkrai is a dark type, so ice... Actually, whoa, okay. Or that's dragon, never mind. Uh, fighting, bug, and fairy. I think Palkia might have a fighting move. Yes, okay. First sphere. Um, great. Great. Why are you sleep so long? There we go. Okay, so we took out the Darkrai. Dialga. Dialga's a steel type. Uh, steel. Fire. Fighting. And ground. Let's use fighting. Yes! Lugia. Psychic. It's gonna be hard, actually. Because I don't have my dark type, so psychic is what else? Bug, ghost, and dark. Yeah. Oh, I have. I still have Garatina though, but I don't think I have any. Oh, that's not very effective. Why did I do that? Special rend. Might be a dragon. No, he is not. Earth power. He he has fly. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna switch to. Garatina. Even though Garatina doesn't really have any moves. I can burn it. I can Dragon Claw now. Dragon Claw while it's burnt. This, this Lugia is going to be so annoying. I swear, uh, Latios is a psychic, so. But it still might one hit it. Psychic is the only move. Yeah, it just destroyed it. That Lugia is so bad. I probably should have left him in the PC. I can beat the whole thing with just Darkrai alone. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be okay. He's down, so now let's take out Lugia. Cause I took he took out the rest of mine. Um, psychic or sphere, good. Psychic recover doesn't affect me. Call mine. Call mine. Psychic. Dead. Alright. Garatina. Should be able to one hit it, I think. Oh, I only have a couple of those left. No. Latios. Icy Wind one hits it. Not yet. Ooh, perfect. I think I just beat him. Yes. Beat my own party at Lugia. Alright, uh, so that was me beating gyms 2 through 8. Hope you enjoyed, that was probably a really long video, like 40 minutes. Peace.